Hello everyone, welcome down to another Tip Tuesday. Today we're talking about bunker shots. Isn't this everyone's worst nightmare? What do we think? Let's get into it. Right, so here we have our fried egg. I've got a little bit of a lip to go over and this bunker shot's about 15 to 20 yards, something like that. First things first, we need maximum loft. I've got a 60 degree lob wedge here, okay? Second thing, which is gonna be crucial because we need to think about really getting underneath that ball as much as we can. So what I want you to do with your weight is I want you to position it more 70, 30 on your left side. So really get a good lean into this left side. That's gonna allow us to be able to hit down on the ball a lot better. Usually in a bunker shot we have to open this face to use a little bit of bounce because the ball is situated very close to the base of the bunker we don't need to use that much of this bounce so let's keep a relatively square edge to it in order that we can kind of just punt it out as instead of the club gliding through the sand. And the only thing we really need to think about with regards to how it's come out how it's going to come out with spin is that the spin is going to be massively reduced because of the light. So let's think 70 30 left side, square that club face up, let's use the leading edge instead of the bounce, let's see if we can punt it out, let's give it a go. Okay, so that was a pretty good shot, let's go see where it's gone. So here we go, that relatively hard plug bunker shot has turned into now a 10 foot putt uphill, hopefully giving me a chance for my par. Right guys, thanks for watching. If you've not subscribed to me already, could you please do so? Uh, like this video, please share it to your friends, share it to someone who you think might be struggling with this kind of shot, and until next time, see you later.